Guyana's mega projects aren't just about construction. They're the strokes of brilliance, painting a future that gleams with promise. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to a country that's rapidly emerging on the global stage, Guyana. So keep watching as we will go through all the biggest projects of Guyana that intertwine ambition, innovation, and the inexorable shaping of a future that promises to captivate the world's imagination. Guyana, the fourth smallest country in South America, tucked between Venezuela, Brazil, and Suriname, is a nature lover's paradise with rainforests and rivers that will leave you in awe. But hold on, because Guyana isn't just about the scenery. They're skyrocketing their GDP per capita thanks to booming oil production. With double-digit growth rates projected for 2023 and 2024, this economic growth isn't luck. It's their hard work paying off. Some of the biggest projects in Guyana are just the taste of the bright future they're carving out for themselves. Hydroelectric Projects Instead of relying solely on traditional energy sources, Guyana has tapped into the power of its abundant water resources to create some serious clean energy magic. Now, you might wonder, why go for hydroelectric power? Well, not only does it give us a more sustainable option, but it also brings a whole bunch of benefits to the table. Think about it. It's like Mother Nature's way of providing us with renewable energy, doesn't harm the environments as much, won't break the bank, and can be adjusted as needed. One shining example is the Moco Moco hydropower station down in southern Rupununi. Since 1999, it's been generating a solid 2.2 megawatts, giving the local community a boost while keeping things green. Utilizing Kaitor Falls Power, Kaitor Hydroelectric Project is another initiative that aims to reduce Guyana's carbon footprint by generating substantial electricity. Nature's beauty meets sustainable energy. Now that's a combo we can get behind. Oh, and hold on tight because Guyana's got big plants. They're eyeing not one, but two more hydropower plants. Amela Falls and another is still a mystery. Amela Falls could produce 165 megawatts, aiding the shift from non-renewables despite negotiation and environmental challenges. And let's not forget about the Kurabrong River hydroelectric project. Holding hydroelectric potential in the Pitaro Siparuni region definitely showcases Guyana's commitment to renewables. These projects are like badges of honor, showing the world that Guyana is dead serious about cutting emissions, boosting the economy, and taking meaningful steps toward battling climate change. As they make their mark on the global clean energy stage, we're all cheering them on. Go Guyana! Ogle International Airport Expansion in 2023, Ogul Airport handled 50,000 passengers and 1,800 tons of cargo annually. But by March 2007, it transformed into a full-blown international airport, complete with all the fancy upgrades you can imagine, customs, immigration, air traffic control, and even firefighting services. By 2009, Ogul Airport gained port of entry certification and flaunted its brand new 2,000-foot Class 1A concrete runway operating under visual flight rules. Fast forward a bit and boom, it evolved into Guyana's main hub for domestic air travel, connecting Georgetown and the hinterland. The airport plans to serve international, regional, and domestic routes, accommodating aircraft like the Dash 8 300 series. Future developments include a Category 2C runway, taxiway, and terminal building. They even made it official that they're an international port of entry since 2009. In 2019, a $70 million helicopter taxiway was added for the oil and gas industry. And let's not forget about their under-construction $50 million AC Marriott Hotel on Airport Road, and that project is expected to generate 400 jobs by late 2024. But the excitement isn't just about buildings and runways. By increasing flight capacity, they're on a mission to attract airlines, thrill-seeking adventurers, and nature-loving eco-tourists. It's not just about planes taking off. It's about economic growth soaring high and job opportunities spreading their wings. Plus, it's making Guyana a real hotspot for commerce and trade, fitting in perfectly with the nation's big goals for development. Infrastructure and Road Projects Guyana's remarkable growth also includes a series of ambitious infrastructure and road projects that have significantly changed its landscape, particularly in coastal areas. 
These projects have not only supported new housing developments, but also improved travel for commuters. In 2022, the government of Guyana constructed over 180 bridges and around 1,651 kilometers of roads, connecting coastlines and hinterlands. By the end of 2022, 351 bridges were erected countrywide, and from 2020 to 2022, more than 3,670 kilometers of roads were built and maintained. The 2023 budget reflects substantial increases in funding for vital upgrades like roads, bridges, housing, and power generation. In 2019, $11.8 billion was allocated for roads and bridges compared to the 2023 budget, which allocated $131.5 billion. Similarly, housing development saw a rise from less than $1 billion in 2019 to $53.1 billion in the 2023 budget. These initiatives are definitely transforming dirt paths into modern highways, enhancing regional connectivity, boosting trade, tourism, and making Guyana a thriving economic hub. Deepwater Harbor Development Guyana's upcoming Deepwater Harbor in the east is another significant mega-project. It will host large cargo ships and support the thriving oil and gas industry. The port will also handle agricultural exports, especially rice and sugarcane. Located on 30 acres near Crab Island along the Burbies River's east bank, part of this awesome land is being dedicated to a mangrove habitat study area. The UAE-funded project includes a local training institute, creating jobs left and right and giving the underdeveloped region the boost it's been waiting for. It's like a construction symphony that kicked off in 2021, aiming for the grand opening around 2024. This advanced harbor is strategically positioned to become a regional trade center, reshaping Guyana's maritime landscape and boosting global trade. Agriculture and Agro-Processing Initiatives Guyana's agricultural sector contributes significantly to its economy and employment, making up about one-third of the GDP and 30% of jobs. While established industries like sugar and rice remain important, agro-processing exports have doubled over the last five years. Many small and medium-sized Guyanese agro-processors have been enhancing their products, introducing innovation and improving packaging. Notable additions include products like Instant Cookup by Taz Foods, Pepper Pot in a Box by Ashdells, and Only Coconut by Precision Global. That's not all. Guyana is practically modernizing traditional farming with precision agricultural techs like satellites, drones, and data analytics, boosting yields. They are investing in seed improvement and genetic modification for better crop quality and productivity. These efforts not only decrease import dependency, ensuring local, high-quality food supply, but also generate rural employment. No doubt, Guyana has positioned itself as a contender in global agriculture, promoting sustainability and resilience. Ecotourism and Conservation Projects when it comes to tourism, Guyana shows its commitment to responsible travel that fuels environmental stewardship, uplifts local communities, and enriches your soul. Imagine exploring untamed landscapes while leaving a positive impact. That's the essence of ecotourism in Guyana, where your wanderlust becomes a catalyst for change. In Guyana, conservation isn't a buzzword, it's a way of life. Guyana is progressively embracing environmental consciousness and has established protected areas like Kaitor National Park, Iwakrama Forest, Kanuku Mountains, and Shell Beach. These aren't just places. Their promise is to protect, cherish, and let nature thrive. At the heart of this conservation tapestry lies Iwakrama Forest, nurtured by the Iwakrama International Center for Rainforest Conservation. Here, research, sustainable forestry, and ecotourism blend seamlessly, creating a symphony where nature and economics thrive simultaneously. But the magic extends beyond the forest edge. Indigenous communities have embraced the call, weaving their traditions into the fabric of ecotourism. Through their initiatives, they share not just the beauty of their land, but also the soul of their heritage. The Guyana Tourism Authority is your guide to green tourism certification a badge of honor for eco-conscious travelers. It benefits both the environment and the local economy. The country's rich avian diversity attracts birdwatchers and wildlife enthusiasts. Overall, these initiatives create a cycle. Ecotourism supports conservation, which in turn enhances ecotourism's appeal, 
resulting in mutually beneficial outcomes for the environment and local communities. In Guyana, every adventure is a promise, and every experience adds to the legacy of a greener, brighter future. Guyana landed in the global sustainability spotlight overnight when the country was named the number one best of ecotourism destination in the world at the Sustainable Top 100 Destination Awards in Berlin. Artificial Island Project in Guyana Artificial islands are the best solution to the growing problem of land scarcity around the world. They not only tackle the issue effectively, but also provide unique opportunities for nature conservation and ecological habitat. On behalf of U.S. oil giant ExxonMobil, Belgian company Jan de Nul, together with partners, is boldly leading the charge. They are building an enchanting artificial island just off the shores of vibrant Guyana in South America. Vreed and Hoop Shorebase Incorporated clinched a $300 million deal with ExxonMobil Guyana spanning two decades. This collaboration, aimed at servicing ExxonMobil's Yellowtail Well and future endeavors, adds yet another chapter to the region's rich oil industry. And it's not just the oil and gas sector that stands to gain. The facility will become a bustling hub for diverse industries seeking a reliable port. Tied to the mainland by a road, the artificial island's first phase will be completed in December 2023. The journey began in June 2022 with ambitious dredging efforts, crafting a new channel and expanding the existing nautical pathways. Phase 2, concluding by April 2024, completes the grand picture. Spanning 44 acres, this island gem will merge seamlessly with Vreed and Hoop on the west bank of Demerara. As this island takes shape, it not only addresses land shortage, but also kindles the flames of possibility, casting ripples of positive impact that extend far beyond its shores and into the heart of Guyana's growth story. Challenges and Opportunities Of course, every journey comes with its share of challenges and opportunities. As Guyana sets its sights on a brighter future, it must navigate concerns like environmental preservation and ensure that the benefits of these projects are shared equitably among its citizens. Balancing growth with sustainable practices is undoubtedly a tightrope walk. However, the potential benefits are immense. Mega projects are opening doors to economic growth, improved infrastructure, and enhanced quality of life for Guyanese citizens. They're not just about concrete and steel. They're about shaping a prosperous tomorrow. Indeed, Guyana's mega projects are carving out a path toward a brighter future. As these initiatives unfold, let's stay engaged, informed, and excited about the transformative impact they'll have on this stunning nation. The journey to progress is a collective effort, and you, yes, you can be a part of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the incredible world around us. Take care and see you in the next video.